Hey Ivano Marvazi, welcome back to some more XCOM enemy within the long war. So, I sold a few more things to get more money, but we'll get to that part in just a moment. I decided to launch two satellites in United Kingdom and Russia, and keep my third satellite to possibly do alien based assault in France next month. And I decided to launch satellites in United Kingdom and Russia because I don't want to risk them leaving the council. I could get a little bit of extra money by launching a satellite in Germany instead, but the panic level in Germany is significantly lower. So I prefer satellites in United Kingdom and Russia. That will reduce the panic level slightly, so it will drop United Kingdom down to yellow and Russia almost down to yellow. Now I need interceptors in Europe, obviously, and I'll also need laser cannons for them. I will order two interceptors in Europe for now, send one interceptor from South America to Europe and get started on two laser cannons. Once I'm done with the laser cannons, I'll probably order a few more interceptors, but that's going to happen next month. One laser cannon right now is going to cost me 72 credits, so I can afford that. That leaves me with 18 credits, so we're done for now. I'm about to finish plasma weapons research, so let's start scanning. Oh, this is an interesting proposal. Two power sources for two engineers and 155 credits. That's a pretty good deal. I think I'll accept that. Yeah, let's accept that. How many engineers do we have now? 74. Not bad. Alright, plasma weapons. We're done with the research. Now we can get a carbine and a storm gun, which is the plus 3 mobility gun. And the carbine is plus 7 aim, plus 1 mobility. I might make a carbine or two, but I'll have to wait for the next month to get enough money. As for the research, there are a few good options here. I might do the Berserker interrogation and Mectoid autopsy, because I'll have to do that anyway. So might as well do that now. I haven't actually decided what the next major research topic is going to be. So, 173 credits. Let's see, I could actually afford a carbine. I could make a storm gun, but thing is, carbine is more useful in more situations, on more soldiers. Yes, plus 3 mobility gun is nice, but its uses are more limited than the carbine. So I think I prefer the carbine. Carbine is going to be really nice on low rank soldiers, the ones I'm trying to train. Where is it? Should be somewhere around here. Plasma storm gun, that's not the one I need. The nice thing about plasma weapons is that they have the same exact damage range as the pulse rifle, they just have lower crit chance. So the storm gun has 0% crit chance, but the damage ranges here are exactly the same as on the pulse rifle. The plasma carbine should be somewhere down here, I think. The plasma carbine has 5% chance to crit. Come on now, where exactly is it? It should be somewhere down here. I know it's somewhere down here. Oh, right, I don't actually have enough money to make one. I was looking at the blue ones. 240 credits. So, same exact damage range. 5% base chance to crit, plus 7 aim, plus 1 mobility. So this is nice for mobility, not as good as the storm gun, but it also gives us plus 7 aim, and that's going to be really nice for my low rank soldiers, or just soldiers with low aim. Okay, well, let's wait for the next month then, not much to do right now. Okay, a fighter that's scanning for satellites, we can deal with that. I will have to order some new interceptors next month, so that's going to be expensive. I got four continents to protect now. There we go, we shot it down, and we got extra money. Now I can afford the carbine. Let's get started on one carbine then, it's definitely worth making. Thing about plasma weapons though, they actually require you to have alien weapons. So for example, in order to make a plasma carbine, I actually need an alien carbine, and it will be consumed by this. That's one of the reasons why I captured all these outsiders, just to get the carbines. 
So that will take 24 days. Okay, it will take a while. I'm down to 33 credits now. Let's scan for activity. We got our last satellite, but I'm not launching that one. I will use it for alien base assault. Next month, most likely. Oh yeah, our first bone marrow gene mod is done. Will we get any more missions this month? Probably not. Cyberdisc Rex. For a weapons. Class recruit. In corporal rank. Oh, this is very tempting. I usually don't accept the requests for cyber discs because they are used for the dodge boosters. And it's not easy to get more cyber disc recs. But I think I'll accept this one. I could definitely use a new weapons recruit. That will give us a gunner. And I really need gunners right now, especially gunners with good stats. So is this someone with good stats? 22 aim. Oh yeah, this guy is really good. Okay, he's going to be a gunner. And I can also grab holo targeting right away. And hit ammo. So we got a hit ammo gunner with 81 aim. That was definitely worth free cyber disc Rex. I'm quite happy about that. But I need to change his color scheme. A little bit. I'm not sure which exact number it is that I use on the gunners. Let's check that real quick. That's nine. Okay. Where's that guy? He was a corporal. So he should be down here. Yep, that's the guy. He has minus two defense, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Whatever. We got a gunner with pretty high aim. Can't complain about that. Okay, I should change his hat, but whatever, this is good enough. So, let's finish the month and get our money. There we go. We got the money. That's 328. I might order new interceptors right away because I'm really going to need them. Especially in Europe. Avalanche missiles aren't really good enough. I will finish the laser cannons in the next few days. In one day, but then I'll need seven days to actually arm my interceptors. So I'll order one more interceptor in Europe. Like this. Hmm. More interceptors? I think this is enough for now, but yeah, I have four continents to protect now. That's going to be more tricky than before. This morning, and let's scan for activity then. Do we need more side chaining? Yes, we do actually. We should build a cyber Let's send a few people to get side powers. I still want to get some side powers on Ivan. He has 60 will. Not amazing, but pretty good. That will take six days. All right, that's fine. Jeff, 54 will. Yes, let's give him mind fray. And one more person, maybe someone less experienced. Let's see. Maybe a scout. I like having mind fray on scouts. Nope, that's not going to happen right now. Shen doesn't have anything. I guess she could use mind fray, but her will is kind of low, only 47. Yeah, that's a little bit low. What about Lois? He still needs something. Science inspiration. I prefer that on medics. Okay, scan for activity. We got a destroyer. Is it going to land or is this a bombing mission? This might be a bombing mission. Well, let's attack it for now. Oh no, it's scanning for satellites. Yep. Okay, I might have to shoot it down then. I'm going on defensive because I don't want to take too much damage. And our chance to hit should be pretty decent. And this thing can do significant damage. Well, we shot it down. And we got 388 now. The laser cannons are almost done. And the mectoid autopsy is done. Nice. Advanced servo motors. I don't remember how expensive that project is. Size screen. I don't think I need that right now. And tactical sensors. That's for mech troopers. We'll see. As for the next research, yeah, I should interrogate the Berserker. It's definitely about time to do that. So let's take a look. Do I want anything here? 
Probably not right now. I might use one side screen, but that's 72 credits. It's not that expensive. Maybe later. What about some equipment for our mech troopers? Speaking of mech troopers, I'm actually considering making yet another cyber suit so that I could use two mech troopers in one mission. And I could also make this. A better armor with grapple, or I could make more Aegis armor. That might be the best idea right now, just make more Aegis armor. I'm going to need more Aegis armor. It's not exactly cheap, as you can see. But yeah, Aegis armor. That will take... How many days? Nine days. Okay. Laser cannons are done. And now it will take seven days to actually get our interceptors armed. Unfortunately. But we have to do it. Rename. And get the laser cannon. Alright. We'll get an interceptor in three days. With avalanche missiles, but whatever. It might be useful to shoot down small UFOs. Oh, ammo conservation is done. Awesome. Let's check the costs of the advanced servo motors project. 180 credits. Not too bad. Remember, this is with the Pandre project cost reduction, but I also need 8 mectoid cores. Mectoid cores shouldn't be too hard to get. Two scientists for free alien carbines. No, I need the carbines to actually make plasma weapons. And we got an abductor. Okay, we're doing abductions then. I don't mind. We're not ignoring you for contacts. Shut up, dude. Alright, I can actually bring a fairly strong squad to this one, for a change. Clear all of this. So, who's going to be our officer? Sam, maybe? Is he getting close to the next promotion? Yeah, well, not that close, but less than 600 experience is coming. Who else? Let's see, I don't think I need any Master Surgeons for this. This shouldn't be a super hard mission. Kostya. Is he close to Master Sergeant? Fairly close. Less than 400 experience. What about our brand new gunner? Yeah, this guy. He could use some experience right now. For sure. He's coming. We need a scout. Who's not Bella? Who's our best scout other than Bella? Oh yeah, Emmanuel. Is she close to Master Sergeant? Not really. What about our other scouts? I have quite a few scouts in like sergeant and corporal ranks. So they could use experience. Oh yeah, this guy with 17 mobility. How's his experience? No, not really. Let's check all these corporal scouts. This guy. Actually, that's not a guy, but you know what I mean. Six hit points. Yeah, she could use some experience. Okay, let's bring her then. Now we need a medic. I don't have a lot of medics. But all the medics are available right now. So Tyler, Lois and Girard. Where's Lois? Oh yeah, Lois is in psionic training, right. I could really use a new medic or something. Actually. <laughs> yeah, I do have some wounded medics. Oh yeah, we will get Aditya in two days. I might bring a rookie to this mission. A good rookie. Only 3 hit points on this guy, but 73 aim. Let's bring this guy. We still do need a medic. That's going to be Tyler. Okay. Actually, hold on. Is Girard close to Master Sergeant? No, not really. He has less experience than Tyler, okay. Whatever. Two more people. A sniper would be nice. William. What about our less experienced snipers? Matthew. Yeah, he still needs experience to get snapshot. He needs snapshot. He should get a promotion from this mission easily. So we're almost done. Can we bring a mech trooper? Yes, we can. Ariadne shouldn't be wounded anymore. Okay, this is our squad. 
That's going to be like the second mission for her because she was wounded for over a month. She has body shield, shock absorbent armor, she doesn't have repair servos. Okay, and she has close combat specialist. Very good. So, kinetic strike module. 28 hit points with the alloy belt. So, auto loader or holo targeter? Holo targeter. She can't shoot twice per turn unless it's through close combat specialist. But 28 hit points, no repair servos. Okay. So, Matthew, Paul sniper rifle. What about the armor? He can keep Phalanx armor for now. Which map is this? Along corridor. Okay. He won't need Kestrel armor for this one. Right. Scope. He needs to actually hit things. Alloy plating or a battle scanner. Yeah, a battle scanner might be useful. I just need to be careful. With 7 hit points, he needs to stay in the back. Tyler. Phalanx armor? No, carapace armor. Pulse rifle, obviously. Yeah, this is one of the people I would use the plasma carbine on. 27 aim at this stage of the game is kind of low-ish, even though he's a gunnery sergeant. So plasma carbine will be useful even for missions like this. And he doesn't rely on crits. The plasma carbine has exact same damage range as the pulse rifle. It just has lower crit chance. Anyway, we're done with him. Pistol? He won't really need a pistol. Next, that's our rookie. He could probably use some hit points. <laughs> Nine hit points. I might actually give him alloy plating or something. I don't mind losing a rookie, it's not the end of the world, but this is my highest aim rookie. It would be nice to get him promoted to a gunner. Or infantry. Or sniper. There are quite a few classes. He would be decent as. So, scope. He needs to actually kill things. He needs at least one kill from this. To get a promotion. To get a guaranteed promotion. Sam. Carapace armor. Pulse rifle. And the scope again. That's over 100 aim with the pulse rifle. That's pretty good. Next up, Kostya. So, Krapay's armor again. And the scope. I could actually use one more scope for my last gunner. Or maybe he will be fine without. Gatling pulser, alloy bipod. I can just use laser sight. That's 86 aim. Hmm, is there anyone who doesn't really need a scope? Let's see. I guess Matthew technically doesn't really need a scope. That's 90 aim with a scope. It's not amazing. Kostya needs a scope because he uses rapid fire. So I like having that. I kind of want the scope on the rookie. Sam is probably fine without a scope. He has over 90 aim. I can replace that with something else. Like what? Kiting plating? Yeah, not a terrible idea. I'm not actually using the kiting plating right now. The other kiting plating goes to our scout. Also, chem grenades. I'm not sure if I can afford to bring chem grenades here. Laser pistol. Also, this squad won't have an assault. I'll just have to deal with that. Alright, back to this guy. Now he can get a scope and I think we're done no more changes does everyone have proper armor yep everyone has carapace armor well except this guy actually I don't have any more carapace armor okay I'm just checking we have three flashbang grenades no cam grenades I could replace one of the flashbang grenades with a chem grenade. That might not be a bad idea. If I give chem grenade to Sam, that will only give me one. But it might be useful 
in case we get, I don't know, a huge group of berserkers or something equally nasty. All right, this is good enough. Let's go. Shouldn't be a very hard mission, but it did have swarming alien activity. And this is December now. We will probably start seeing mutanelis regularly now. I will be very surprised if I won't get mutanelis regularly at this point. Not that I want to, but it's to be expected in December. At least this map isn't too bad. Oh, we got a melt container <laughs> right next to us. Hey, thanks. That's appreciated. Let's send our Yadne to scout ahead a little bit and see what's going on. No aliens yet, that's good. Okay, so this map has one nasty detail about it. There are sometimes aliens back here, or at least they spawn back there. I need to take that into account. Well, Matthew can stay here or so. That will count as full cover. But I need to be really careful about that corner. And they don't spawn there immediately, which is the worst part. Either way, I'll just spread out a little bit. I need to be ready for aliens from that corner. You'll go here and some goes here. And Overwatch. I could throw a battle scanner there, just so I know when they show up. But if I check that corner right now, that won't really reveal anything. But they might come later. Which is the worst part about this map. So what do we do? Matthew can stay here. That should be pretty good for him. And I'm not going to rush this too much. I'll send Ariadne to scout ahead a little bit. But I don't want to trigger too many aliens just yet. And I'm not in a huge rush to loot the meld. That's only three meld per container. We already got one meld container. So yeah, we're fine. And I plan yet another alien base assault in reasonable future. We'll get a lot of meld from that one. So meld is not high priority at the moment. It's obviously nice to get meld, as always. But it's less important than it usually is. So, steady weapon. Well, there's something this way. I can hear a cyber disc. So that's actually good because I can always use Cyberdisc Rex for booster power-ups. Still nothing. I expected to see some aliens by now, but I guess not. Okay, we'll keep moving then. So Kostya goes here. Sam needs to be in the front. His mobility is kind of bad. So I might have to dash here and there. We'll move up a little bit. I'm still a little bit paranoid about that corner. Okay, we got mutants. Regular mutants, not elites. That's a lot of mutants, though. Might be fun to deal with. Let's see. 42%. I could dash towards them and then maybe use flamethrower on the next turn, but if I dash towards them, I risk triggering more groups. That's not such a good idea right now. Can we get the holo targeting up? Kostya can do it. Let's see, I can move into full cover now. He already moved this turn. 42%, 42%. Well, it won't really get much better than this. Can we get holo targeting with someone else? Yes, we can. With this guy. He has the Gatling Pulse there. 61, 61. Okay, let's take a shot with 61%. That gives us holo targeting. Now I can take a shot with Matthew. That's 80%. Okay, that's pretty good. Holo targeting active. Please hit. Go, go, go. Okay, 7 damage. Might be able to kill one mutant at least. I still got some, but he can't see anything. Oh, right, he dashed. He can't actually shoot anything on this turn. He can see some mutants, but he already used his moves. Let's take a shot with our mech. 52%. Nice. But that was not a kill. 
That Mewtwo is down to literally one hit point right now. Yep, he certainly is. Okay. And I don't have Mind Fray that I could kill him with. Unfortunately, I could throw a smoke grenade. I'm considering it. I only have partial cover right now, which is not fantastic against so many mutants. Yeah, we definitely need smoke. Now they might target Ariadne and I'm okay with that. So this guy still Overwatch, I guess. And I still got... Oh yeah, that's the rookie. Right. Well, here's your chance to get experience. Okay, not really. He can't see that mutant in the back. It's probably better to hunker down. I need him to not get killed. I still got Kostya. I could use suppression. I could try to kill that mutant with one hit point. And I have a pretty good chance to kill him. Okay, let's try to kill that mutant. There we go, he's dead. That's one less shot we'll have to worry about during AI turn. We might take some damage now because that's a lot of mutants. Our defenses are decent. But they will be getting the high ground bonus. We, however, are getting plus 40 defense from the dense smoke smoke grenade. They are targeting Ariadne. As I expected, they would have targeted my soldiers in partial cover if I didn't use the grenade though. They are mostly targeting Ariadne now because they are because she is easier to hit. Grenade? Okay, I don't mind. But the car is on fire now. It might actually blow up. Am I close enough to use the flamethrower? No, I don't think so. I might be? This might be in range? The flamethrower has a pretty good range. Let's move closer. We'll get proximity bonus. We'll also trigger the reaction shot, but that's fine. She can tank some damage. I'm pretty sure this will be in range for the flamethrower. Let's see. Yes, it actually is. I think that's a pretty decent use of the flamethrower. So let's do that. Now they will panic. I don't have to worry about them for a turn. Or for two turns. Come on. And now I can kill this dude. I could actually flank him with my rookie, but my rookie would be a little bit too exposed. I need to move away from the car, I think. It might actually blow up on the next turn. I'm not staying here. Okay, we have no target now, really. That's annoying. So, Sam is not directly next to the car. He should be fine. 82%. I kind of want to kill that mutant if possible. No? Really? One more time? Come on, Sam. That's 92% twice. There we go. Actually, the first one was 82. Because gene mod. What about this mutant? I'm thinking I can't actually kill that mutant. Yeah, I can't even see him right now. Let's disorient him, just to be safe. I have, what, two or three flashbang grenades? Might as well use them. And... Hunker down, I suppose. Costa can use Overwatch. And if that mutant moves, we'll get a reaction shot. And Tyler will do the same. I still got this guy, but now he needs to move. He's too far away. Hunker down. As for Matthew... I'm considering Steady Weapon. Yeah, Steady Weapon. That will give him a much better chance to hit something on the next turn. And I can't kill this mutant anyway. Plus, that mutant is already disoriented. He shouldn't be a big problem. And I have Dense Smoke. Okay, reaction shot. No, missed. Alright. How many mutants do we still have? Four mutants? Three or four? I think there's one more that I can't see. Also, I should probably heal up Ariadne. Sometime soon. She doesn't have repaired servos like bagels. Yep, the car blew up as expected, but Sam is fine. He wasn't standing directly next to it. So now I can hit this mutant in the face. That's what I'm going to do. 
But I want to move a little bit first Towards my medic Like this 100% Come on 8 damage Now I need to heal Ariadne Either on this turn or on the next one Yeah, her panic resist is kind of low I should have moved one more tile But I do have Paramedic I can just heal her like this So that's what we'll do I don't want to risk having her wounded for another month Yet again I'll actually need to chop at least one more person To have a mech trooper available for every single mission Three mech troopers might not be enough if someone gets wounded Which is always a possibility Okay, what about this muton? I kind of need to kill that muton No one has line of sight to that muton I can get a kill with my rookie, but it's so risky If I move here, that muton will still have full cover If I move here, my rookie will be completely exposed in the open I would have to kill this muton to keep my rookie safe So, let's try to kill that muton first I can get hollow targeting up so, oh, I can actually target this dude, 32%, now we have holo targeting, that should help a bit, Sam, yes, enemy is still alive, and why is that, Commander. you tell me, 64, 37, well, this is much better, that's a kill, that's fine, Sam also needs experience, I can still target that other muton, but my chance to hit seems to be pretty damn low on that guy He does have full cover So that's pretty much the reason Let's get the low targeting up Now Matthew should have 65% That's decent for a target behind full cover Nice, 8 damage I probably can't kill him on this turn But I can do it on the next one Actually, I might be able to kill him on this turn that's 47% twice That's pretty decent There we go, he's dead Alright I still need to get at least one kill on my rookie Because he's not guaranteed to get a promotion otherwise He will get some experience just for completing the mission but it might not be enough One more muton Maybe we can kill that one Missed He'll probably target Ariadne now although he might also target the rookie I expect him to target Ariadne though Nope, he targeted the rookie, okay And he missed terribly, and now he's standing in the open, completely exposed 86%, I can hit him in the face But before I hit him in the face, I should heal Ariadne I could move her towards my medic I could also stay here I want my medic to have cover So I can move him like this and then move her one tile towards the muton. That's 90% and that's a kill. Well, that's fine. She still does need experience too. And she missed out on a lot of experience because she was wounded for a month. Everyone here needs experience. I have no master surgeons in this squad. And we're not quite done with this mission yet. There are more aliens still. There seems to be a cyber disk somewhere around here. So there's that Then again, Aroki is unlikely to get a kill on a cyber disc One of our gunners will probably get a kill on that But a cyber disc will probably have some drones with it That's usually the case We'll get a chance to get a kill For now, reload everything And keep moving So, where's the... Last group That's probably going to be the last group, although it might not be One more heal? No, should be fine Let's send Ariadne this way And she needs to reload I still have one more flamethrower use That won't be super useful against the cyber risk though Okay, keep moving it's unlikely we'll get any more meld from this But you never know Now, where do I want Matthew? 
He only has 7 hit points. But he needs line of sight. There's somebody who might be up here. Hmm. He needs to stay somewhere down here. Maybe exactly where he is. But the car might block line of sight. Okay. This is a little bit better. Just need to be careful not to get him flanked. Some aliens can actually have squad sight. I know thin men can have squad sight. We won't have any thin men here. But there's at least one more alien type that can have squad sight. So their range can be larger than you might expect. I can hear some mutants still. Okay. Is this one mutant we didn't kill from this group or just a whole new group? Well, there's the cyber disk. And some seekers. I saw two seekers. Come on. Missed. So there's one mutant, but he wasn't in this group. That means there's one more group on top of this. Oh, there's the mutant. That's just a mutant we didn't kill. Now we did. Aroki got the kill there, didn't he? Yes, he certainly did. Nice. Well, there's the cyber disk. And seekers. We might get a chance to get another kill on the Rocky. Drones and seekers are pretty much the best targets. And his aim is not bad, that's why he's here in the first place. He was the highest aim rookie that I had. 28%. But we should probably do some damage to that seeker first. Not much point using the flamethrower, although... No, there's no point using it. I could move towards the cyber disk. Then again, I don't think that's such a great idea. I need to actually see the cyber disk. To shoot it. I could focus on other targets. 80%. I don't want Matthew to get hit. But there's no way that Cyberisk will be close enough. No, let's not risk that. I'll move him into cover. And use Steady Weapon. He will have much higher chance to hit on the next turn. I need to have cover. From this direction. So I need to reposition. Where's our scout exactly? There she is. So if I dash... I might trigger the reaction shot. It's not a guarantee because that cyber disk is quite far away. But I'll do it anyway. There's a chance we'll trigger the reaction shot? No, we didn't. But we can see the cyber disk now. No, we can't? Really? Whatever. I expected to see the cyber disk from here. But I guess not. It's a little bit too far to the right. So I'm not getting line of sight. I could really use more cover around here. This is unfortunate. Well, someone needs to move. This dude does have 10 hit points. And what about the mech? If I move closer with her, she will probably see the cyber disk. Let's move two tiles. That should be safe enough. That won't trigger the reaction shot. We still can't see the cyber disk. Alright, I'll target the seeker then. That's a kill. 15 critical. Good riddance. Yeah, good riddance. Right. Sam can go here. And he can take a shot. No, he can't take a shot. He can use overwatch. So what about these guys? I can't leave them here. Because they might get flanked by the cyber disk. I can move someone up. So possibly this dude. But I need more cover down here. There is some partial cover. But... Cyber discs can throw grenades. I don't want to keep three soldiers this close to each other. That's really not a good idea. I'll keep Tyler down here. And try to kill the drones. Nope. Well, I still got... My gunner, 21%. He needs to take a shot now because he's using a Gatling Pulser. That's a kill for him. So what about that other drone? We still got Kostya. I think he'll just use Overwatch. Sam will certainly use Overwatch. And this guy can try to hit the drone. No, he won't kill the drone. I'll just hunker down then. The drone won't be a big problem. And I might still kill the drone. 
Like this? No? The cyber disc should be the last alien now. Well, other than the drone. I don't think there are any more groves on top of this. Seems unlikely. Here comes the cyber disc. Oh, it was all the way in the back. I thought it was closer than this. It's targeting Ariadne. Yeah, that's okay. No, he's throwing a grenade. That's okay, too. That's a bit of a strange decision, but alright. Should be able to kill that cyber disc. And it's not on Overwatch. We can shoot it with Matthew first. That's 15% chance to crit, not amazing. Might be better to use Kostya first. It's definitely better to use Kostya first. I can't just afford to leave him in the open. I expect to see to kill that cyber disc on this turn. Famous last words. But no, I would have to get extremely unlucky to not destroy the cyber disc on this turn. So 13 critical. And the second one was a miss. That's fine. Let's get holo targeting on that drone. And try to kill the drone with the rookie. Alright, take that shot. And that's a hit. That's actually helpful. If the rookie hits, that should be a kill easily. 63% chance to get a kill. That's pretty much what this is. And he got a kill. He should get a promotion from this now. Let's finish off the cyber disc now. I'll just move towards it. To get better aim. This won't be a kill, but it should be decent damage. There we go, 9 damage. We only need 3 more. Let's see, Matthew can take a shot. 90% and he needs experience for his promotion. Nice, and we should be done with this mission now. No? We're not done with this mission. Is there a Seeker still? There might be. Alright, I'll use Overwatch then. That's the only thing I can think of, unless there's one more group. I guess there's one more group. Interesting. I thought we'll be done now. It might be a Seeker still. There were two or three Seekers with that group. I guess I'll just wait on Overwatch for a moment. Yeah, there was one more Seeker and that was it. Well, not anymore. He came to the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> Now we're done? No, really? Well, Overwatch again. More Seekers or what? Oh, yeah. There's that group from the back. They just spawned. Alright, more kills for us. I'm glad that wasn't something nastier. That's one reason I really don't like this map a whole lot. Because that group can spawn in the corner. And they aren't there at the start. They just spawn there, kind of. That's the worst part about this map, by far. It can really kill you if you get mutant elites or something like that and they attack you from the back. You're going to have a really bad time if that happens. Okay, let's get a few kills then. Should be easy enough. No? Okay, whatever. Ariadne. I'll move closer. I wonder if she's close to promotion. There are some really good abilities that I need for her. Okay, that's yet another kill for her. Nice. Rip. These drones are like free experience right now. That's what they are. 62%. Nice. So, what about our gunners? They shouldn't have any problems getting kills. Maybe the, maybe the drone in the back. 81%. I can only shoot once. I don't have enough ammo for rapid fire. Actually, I do have enough ammo for rapid fire. Okay. Rapid fire then. And that's a kill. So, another kill for Kostya. Yes. You got a kill. Calm down. More kills. Plin. 21%. And it's down. One last drone. And the mission should be done. Let's maybe get a kill for the scout. I don't think she got any kills here, but her aim is pretty bad. Yeah, that's a miss. The rookie, perhaps? Sure. There's your kill. Go, go. No? 
That's not what you were supposed to hit. But grants? Are we done now? Commander. Yes, we're done. 17 aliens. And we should get at least a few nice promotions from this. So let's find out. But I think I managed to spread out the experience quite nicely. Only, Only one promotion, really? Well oh well. Ascended. At least we got good experience for our other soldiers. To be fair, most of them weren't close to promotions. And we can get infantry. With 73 aim, yeah, that's the most obvious choice here. He won't make a very good assault with only 3 hit points. I prefer when my assaults have higher hit points. With 73 aim, infantry is the most obvious choice here. So, he will be infantry. That's not bad. I would have preferred a gunner, but infantry is pretty good too. Okay, we got 115 credits. And we're done. So, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in the next one. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.